So the next bit that I want you to do with math today is to practice just the greatest common factor. Remember, I mentioned in the video when we were doing it in the book, you need to know this this year because it helps you to simplify fractions. But next year in sixth grade, they will expect you to just plain old find the greatest common factor. So after watching the video, this video will be linked up right here. And then you will need to follow the link to the greatest common factors here in Common Core. What they want you to do first is list all of the factors of 18 and 42. What does that mean? Well, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6 all equal 18. What about 42? 1 times 42, since 42 is an even number, 2 is definitely a factor. You might need to do a little long division to find out 2 times 21 equals 42. You'll definitely need to do some long division to find out that 42 times something, or 3 times something equals 42. What would that be? Well, let's see, 1 times 3 is 3, so you just do this long division. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down the 2. 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 times what equals 42? 3 times 14 equals 42. So the 14 goes in there. And then 6 times 7. If you need to do the factors on paper in a list, it's kind of nice here. It lets you know how many factors there should be for each number. What goes in the box? Well, that's where they are looking for the greatest number that is shared in common. That is a factor of 18 and 42. So the biggest shared number. So you look from the bottom up, 42, 21, 14, 7, it looks like the biggest one is a 6. So 6 as the greatest common factor. Turned green, so I must be right. And then it gives me the next problem. So here I would need to put 1 and 24 and then all of the other factors. 1 is the beginning, 6 is the end, and then all of the other factors to finally get the greatest common factor. Now what I've asked you for today is I'd, I've asked you to send me a screenshot with your best score out of 10. I believe I showed you earlier how to do this, but if you, let's say you get something wrong and you submit it, and now all of a sudden you have a 50%, if it takes you a while to catch on, once you do catch on, feel free to go over to the gear, reset your score. So now you haven't missed any. I want to see your best score out of 10. Just send me that screenshot for today. It might take a good bit of practice. You shouldn't have a score that's less than 7 correct. If you have a score that's less than 7 correct, Keep practicing, reset, until you can at least get 7 out of 10 correct. That will be 70%. Thank you.